Hello, good place. Welcome to Takumiko. In this video, I want to share two exercises in 101Richi.com that you can practice your skills in Joseki. I think learning Joseki, memorizing Joseki is very useful, especially for Q players. You may think that, well, today we have AI. AI actually suggested that many Joseki in the past days is somewhat outdated and professional players nowadays may not use it. However, Joseki not only tell us how you can play a lot of even position in the opening. Because even though AI may not recommend it, most of the Joseki is still very close to even and acceptable. They would not be very bad move. It's just not the optimal choices that AI would choose. But most of the Joseki should not be regarded as wrong move at all. So firstly, you learn a lot of variations that you can actually use in the opening stage and you can create more variations in your opening games. And secondly, this variation may be actually a very optimal choice in the middle game. It's not unlikely that you can find some Joseki that is not good at the opening, but it's the optimal choice in the middle game. So we already discussed the two reasons why you should learn more Joseki, and the third reason is that by learning Joseki, you are actually learning how to play Go in general. How to fight, how to judge, and also some Tetsuji that you may actually find in Joseki. So, learning Joseki is very good. Although Go is very freedom, you can play very freely, but learning more would be better in terms of skills, in terms of results. So, here I would recommend two resources for you to learn Joseki and you can find the link in the description. The first one is simple. You just try to memorize it. When you click this play button, it would demonstrate the Joseki. You need to answer it and replay it by clicking this pencil button. So we have star and then we have Approach and then I think this is two space pincer and white jump, black player knight move, white player knight move, black player free free, and white get a large knight move. This is how you do in this exercise one. I think this is especially good for um beginners and Q level players. For higher level players, I have another exercise that I like more. I think it's more fun. This is the another exercise that we choose the second level or the third level and then we click a question. What are we going to do in this question is that we try to replay the Joseki variation on the top right corner. This is actually a one space pincer Joseki. We play the pincer and then this is a jump. And then we play a kick. And then we play a harness. You can see, this is the same variation. I just try to memorize it, how I could get the correct sequence in order to get the exact shape. So I think these two exercises is interesting way for you to memorize Joseki. I always think that it's better to do questions to make puzzles to improve your skills, but learning Joseki is very really useful too. And if you want to memorize Joseki and you don't know what is some good resources? These two resources, I think, is a good way for you to learn some. Okay, so that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.